In today's video, I'll be putting together a metal shed that I can use as a workshop to keep me out of the sun and rain. I'm using a 10 by 10 dog kennel and a canopy frame as the bones of the shed, and then I'll install some corrugated metal panels to the sides and the roof. The total cost of the metal shed is $700. I previously considered getting a cloth canopy, but I wanted to make sure that the shed lasted a long time and wouldn't deteriorate over time. You can see that the kennel comes in four parts, which you attach together with simple tools. Here we are putting together the canopy frame. This shouldn't take long. This is pretty much just a square. It looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. With a square and then it goes up like this. It goes far yeah. side. Yeah, I don't fact, know. That is the middle. That's the middle? Yeah. Oh, I guess it supports on all sides. Coming out. Oh, yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. Well, mom, let me. Let's see. That's perfect. So we're gonna put three panels on each side. This is a uh, low-cost shed. This will probably cost me a total of about $700 for everything here. Okay, so we got three sides and this uh, last part is gonna be the front. So far, so good. This has been about an hour so far. So the daylight savings time just changed. And uh, so I got an hour or less of daylight 
to do this. Uh, today's Monday, yesterday was the daylight savings for 2020. Got our election coming up in, on Tuesday. So lots going on right now. All right, I'm practically done. Uh, I guess I could uh, cut the uh, door so that it's a little more, that metal on the door so that it's a little lower. But overall, it's looking good. One more project done, pretty much. I did make a last minute change. I switched the front panels to be vertical instead of horizontal. That allowed me to close the gap near the door. So that does it for this project. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's always more than one way to do something, so if you have any suggestions or general comments, I'd love to hear from you. By the way, if you're handling corrugated metal panels, make sure you wear gloves. As you can see in the picture, they can be very sharp and you may end up with band-aids all over your fingers. And if you like my videos, remember to subscribe so that I can let you know when the next video is uploaded. Till then, take care and I'll see you on the next video.